Right, let's talk a little bit on the implicit differentiation today. Okay, when you have some equation like this, for this kind of equation, it's very hard for you to make the y as a subject. So this is the time you kind of need to use the implicit differentiation methods. Okay, because normally, if example, uh, if you have the equation like uh, y equals to 4x cubed plus 2x, then for this kind of equation right it's quite easy for us to do right because normally we will straight away write the dy dx but over here i want you to have some concept supposedly when we do dy dx means what we actually we do the d dx for every single term we do the d dx for every single term what do i mean here that's mean you do the d over dx mean you differentiate uh, respect to x for y for 4x cubed and then for 2x all right this is the reason why you will get the dy dx then you will write dy dx and here because everything is in term of x then it's very actually quite easy for you to differentiate because in term of x you can just apply your differentiation skill here which is give you something like 12x squared plus 2 all right however if you have the equation like this um which is quite impossible or very hard sometimes even something like x squared plus y squared equals to 25 yeah that's possible you can make y as a subject something like um 25 minus x squared square root but this equation will take more time to differentiate so sometimes even the equation like this we will straight away apply the implicit differentiation methods which is we straight away differentiate uh, this one rather than make y the subject then only we do the dy dx because we know whenever we want to differentiate the power one over two we'll, we'll need to take more time to do that so implicit differentiation trying to make the complicated equation uh, look easier i would say that all right so then if you know the concept already but how to differentiate is another story okay if today i d dx for x squared yeah, everyone know that this, this one is 2x. But what if we do the d dx for y squared? What do we get? All right, this is uh, what happened for implicit differentiation. Okay, I love to use the product rule to explain about this one. Okay, we learned about product rule, right? Uh, if, we di if we differentiate something like u multiply v. All right, the product rule tells us what? The product rule tells us that uh, we will get something like... um. We can do u dv dx plus v du dx, isn't it? Okay, so this is the product rule. So I will use the product rule for this one. Of course, I know how to straight away get this one. So the the answer is basically is 2y dy dx. <laughs> but I, I want to tell you why I will get 2y dy dx, okay? All right, so normally I love to things like this. y square means what? It's y multiply y. So if I apply the uh, product rule here, basically mean I copy the first one, I copy the y, and then I differentiate the next term, which is differentiate the v. Because the product rule, the easiest way of writing this, some book will write u differentiate v plus v differentiate u, isn't it? So it's the same idea. So I copy the first one, I then I differentiate the y, I get dy dx. Plus, if I copy the y, I differentiate the first y, that means it's dy dx again. So if I factorize out the dy dx, then I get y plus y, isn't it? If I factorize out the dy dx, I get y plus y, isn't it? Which is 2y. So this is the reason why uh, when you differentiate y square in term of x, mean respect to x, you actually get 2y dy dx. All right, what if, because we need to able to see the pattern so that we can do very fast. What if today we actually we want to differentiate um, in terms of x for y cubed? All right, then we will use the same idea of the product rule here. Mean I will do differentiate y multiply y square. So the product rule will tell me or copy the first term y and then differentiate d dx for y square. Plus copy the y square, differentiate the first term dy dx all right then we know differentiate y square right because we just did when we differentiate y square what do we get 
we actually get the 2y dy dx, right? So here we will get 2y dy dx. And then here we actually have another y square dy dx. All right, if I factorize out the dy dx here, what do I get? Here is the 2y square, isn't it? 2y square plus 1y square is 3y square dy dx. So this one is 3y square dy dx. All right, then now we can kind of see the pattern. So you can just imagine if today you differentiate x cubed, you will see this one is 3x square, right? Okay, so I want you to think the pattern same with when you want to differentiate the y cube. So you, you will get something like, you can see 3 y square because this one you get 3 x square right just imagine 3 you can move to the front and then you minus 1 so, and so it becomes 3 y square but because this is not in term of x this is in term of y then you need to add a dy dx at the back so I if I ask you the same questions something like okay today what if I differentiate something like 4 y power of 4 so the faster way is the 4 I move to the front is 16. This one is y power of 3 and then I'll add a dy dx for it. Do you see the idea? So yeah, so if today I want to differentiate about a y power of 10, then I would just say, oh, this is 10 y power of 9. I will add a dy dx for it. Okay, so if you get the idea, then we will go into the example I prepared uh, at the very beginning here. All right, so if you want to differentiate this one, all right, so basically the idea is, first thing is you have to understand, you actually, you will kind of like add the ddx for both sides. You add the ddx for both sides. So this one is something like d dx x square minus d dx y square plus d dx x square y equals to d dx 4. All right, when you're used to it, definitely you no need to do like uh, so troublesome add for every single one you can straight away do. But then at the beginning, I will encourage you to do like that. All right, then over here, this term is considered very easy one. We can solve it really quick because we know differentiate x square give us 2x. Okay, differentiate y square, we learned just now, which is 2y dy dx. All right, and then differentiate constant number give us zero. Okay, this one is another product rule. Remember, just now we learned about product rule. If you differentiate u v, is u dv plus v du. All right, so therefore, if I do this one, I will need to do like this. So this one basically means what? I copy the first term, I differentiate the another one. So copy the first one, and then I differentiate the y, then I will get dy dx plus if I copy the y and then I differentiate x square, I copy the y and then I differentiate x square, it's called, so it's just like differentiate x square. All right, then we will just uh, solve this one. 2x minus 2y dy dx. So differentiate x square in terms of x, so it should be very easy, right? This one, the whole thing here will just give us the 2x, isn't it? So here actually it will get a 2xy. So I just cancel it. 2x multiply y is 2xy. So plus x squared dy dx plus 2xy equals zero. But because in order to find the dy dx, so we will just like factorize out whatever have the dy dx here. But then the other thing doesn't have dy dx, maybe I will just move to the other side or I leave everything here, never mind, plus 2xy. All right, then this one minus 2y I move to the other side become positive 2y dy dx minus x square dy dx okay so you can see I actually move this two term to the other side of the equation because why because I want to factorize out the dy dx then I will get 2y minus x square equals to 2x plus 2xy then now I can find the dy dx by moving this one to the other side become divide so become 2x plus 2xy over 2y minus x square. 
All right, this is how we actually uh, solve this kind of implicit differentiation questions. So bas basically over here, um, when we do the, the differentiation here, we will get quite a loss of dy dx here. Sometimes it can be more than two term or three term, it doesn't matter. So whenever you see the dy dx, you just factorize it out. And your, object is to, your objective is to actually make the dy dx as a subject here. And then the other side will be your equation. Yeah, so same idea if I today I give you another example. So something like if x squared plus y squared equals to 9. Example, if I want to differentiate this one, rather than make y the subject, I will quickly do the d dx for every single one. This one will give me 2x. This one will give me what? This one will give me 2y dy dx. This one differentiate 9 will give me 0. Then if I want to make the uh, dy dx as a subject, then I can quickly do it, right? This one is 2y dy dx equals to negative 2x. So dy dx will equals to negative 2x over 2y. Right, you can try to make y as a subject and then you will definitely you will get the same result with me. But then when you make y as a subject, the other side is in terms of x, right? Then you kind of need to substitute back the y but then eventually you should get the same result all right but then this one is a lot faster and a lot easier all right anyways i hope you find this short videos are uh, useful to help you understand a little bit about implicit differentiation